Jeremiah Shane Farmer. That's the name of the man who attacked R. Kelly in his cell. Jeremiah Shane Farmer. And Mr. Farmer, the psychopath, is 39 years old. And back on June 25th, 1999, he thought it was a good idea to kill two innocent elderly men in an attempt to rob them at their business place. He bludgeoned them to death with a hammer. He had no mercy on those innocent elderly men. And, you know, he is saying that the government told him to kill R. Kelly or told him to harm R. Kelly. Um, he also wanted to harm R. Kelly to expose government corruption. And he also wants the lethal injection because he has nothing to lose. So he wants the death penalty. Uh, Jeremiah Shane Farmer is a fucking psycho who should have never been around R. Kelly. He's a convicted murderer. And the fact that the feds thought it was a good idea to put that psycho around the king of R&B proves that they're behind a bigger plot and we have to get R. Kelly out of there. R. Kelly needs to be out of there tomorrow. R. Kelly needs to be out of there tomorrow. He does not need to be behind bars any longer. The man has suffered enough. A whole year behind bars. A whole year behind bars based on decades old discredited allegations from bitter, vindictive whores and groupies. This is ridiculous. Meanwhile, the cops who killed Breonna Taylor still have not been arrested and they're not gonna be arrested. You know why? Because black folks spent so much time trying to get Bill Cosby locked up and trying to get um, R. Kelly locked up. Now they're trying to get Trey Songz locked up. So they spent so much time trying to take down famous and powerful black men and they don't put the same energy into getting back at these cops who willfully and maliciously commit murder against innocent people of color. And I'm sick of it. This is why, as a race, we're never going to succeed because we don't have our priorities in fucking order. There is no reason for R. Kelly to be locked up. There is no reason for him to be behind bars a whole fucking year based on the words of dirty whores on a fucking edited and scripted Lifetime series. You guys, this Jeremiah Shane Farmer person will be allowed to be around R. Kelly again. You, I can see it. They're gonna allow him to be around R. Kelly again um, because the feds don't give a flying fuck. They have proven it. Um, this is not about girls. They don't give a damn about black girls or black women. They prove that because they have not arrested the killers of Breonna Taylor. This is about R. Kelly and his billion dollar music catalog. That's what this is about. That's what this is all about. Nobody gives a damn about no Geronda Pace. Nobody gives a damn about Lisa Van Allen. They don't give a flying fuck about any of those whores. They know they're lying. But this is all about his catalog. This is all about the music catalog, y'all. But continue to pray. Continue to pray. Let's hope they let him out tomorrow. I don't want our Kelly behind bars another weekend. He needs to be out immediately. He doesn't deserve this type of treatment. Continue to pray for the king of R&B. He's a human being. And unfortunately, he has so many backstabbers in his circle and so many people pretending to be supporting him while they're getting paid by Team Lies to destroy him. 
and set up the real R. Kelly supporters. But anyway, dear Father God, I come to you as your humble child, and I ask that you protect R. Kelly. R. Kelly is your child, God, and he's a wonderful human being. And I know you see all the good and righteous R. Kelly has done throughout his life. And I know you see all the evil his accusers have done throughout their lives. Their Father God, I'm asking you to protect the king of r and I'm asking the king of kings to protect the king of r and Father, protect him from death and destruction. Send guardian angels around him to slay any demonic energy. Protect him, Father God. He is your child. Help death and destruction to pass over him. Anybody who wishes bad on R. Kelly, send it back to them tenfold. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless R. Kelly.